Howdy doodly everyone. It's me again. I bet you're fed up of hearing my voice, aren't you? 15 days of it so far. 15! <gasps> Last page of the first signature. Woohoo! Okay, calm down, calm down. Stop the happy dancing. I bet you're all like, oh god, thank god that one's over. Okay, we're doing this pocket because we love a pocket, but it's an extendable pocket. I should grow up, really. I really should. Okay, do you remember how we made these pockets before? You know, I hang on, that one and 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 that one we're making the pockets in exactly the same way i'll do a quick recap so you need to decide what size pocket you're going to do i'm just using a piece of coffee dyed paper here i'm just going to fold this edge in because i'm going to do dinking with my thumb rather than measuring because i'm a very naughty girl and See that the overlap is about there. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, cut that bit off. And I don't want it quite as long as that, but I need to remember to add the extra for folding up across the bottom. So if I cut it to, f let's cut it to, right, I'm going to cut it to six inches. I'm going to lose half an inch so it'll be a five and a half inch long pocket thereabouts so what you will need to do is you will need to once you've sussed out what size you want you will need to measure that because you need to cut five in total four you could get away with three you could get away with five at absolute maximum um, but they all need to be exactly the same size and they all need to be creased in exactly the same place so that when you've made the pockets up, they are all exactly the same size. All right. So for me, because I've already done mine and I'm only doing this as an example, I'm not actually going to measure mine. But we cut off that at the angle there and that at the angle there and we cut off that end up there. And we cut that end off up there. And if you're just tuning into this video and you've not seen all the rest and thinking, oh, she's going a bit quick there, not explaining it very well. It's because we've already done this. You need to go back and go and have a look at the others. And then that folds. Oh, I forgot to do me. Let's do that there. And let's do that there. Then it will give us a slightly neater finish. There we go. I'm going to place a little bit of glue on this edge here. And I'm going to place a little bit of glue along that edge there. So then when I fold that over, those two will stick together. Now, on the other one, we actually did the seam down the centre. As you can see, this one's on the side because I didn't want to waste too much paper. And then I'm going to glue that bottom bit up. And so you need a maximum of five of those. Hello, my name's Carol. All right, so you need five of those. And as I say, have a look at the previous video where I've gone into more explanation. Now, with the Garden Fresh one, I decided to use the envelope. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the nice thing again about using the envelope is envelopes form a pocket. And you've also got the two journaling cards here as well, which will then sit inside of this. What you do need to remember is that this bit here is the flap 
and we don't need that bit so as you're cutting around it you will then cut straight across there all right so you'll cut the flat off flap off completely but keep the flap because you can use it for other things and then you make the envelope up and here's some I did earlier all right and what we're going to do is there's a, a series of envelopes here now the nice thing about the printed one is that you can print off the same sheet over and over and over again the thing with the magazine is because we're doing sort of three four five pockets we haven't got well, some of you <laughs> I've got three four five copies of the magazine Um, five is maybe pushing it but you've got a few copies of the magazine but you don't want to cut into all of them cutting out the same page as I say, the nice thing about the digital with printing all out the same page is that when you open it up from the side is you get the same image repeating down, which looks really pretty. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. There's just something quite appealing about this same image following all the way through. Whereas, with the magazine, when you open it up, you can see, look, all the images are different. Now, what you could do is instead of cutting up your magazine, is make paper pockets and then just stick one image on the front and do all your other pockets just as the paper pockets. All right, so then it's just the paper that's repeating. There's no reason why when you concertina them open and you have got this, this space down here, you could add a strip of washi tape down there. So then that, that's then repeating on each of the individual sections and the same on this side too. A few options there for you. So... Let's cut this envelope out. And as I say, we're not um, we're not going to keep the flap in terms of for this, but we are going to keep the flap because we can utilise that for other things. Now, whereas the pocket that I just showed you, the paper one, is the same on the front and the back, because this is the envelope, when we fold it up, just get rid of those bits. And you could use um, score pal. Couldn't think of the word then. You could use your score pal and mark all all of these on your score pal, and note the measurements. So then you know that they're all going to be exactly the same size. But can you see now that this is shorter, so it's not the same height. It still works though. Of course, the other thing that you could do is you could just use envelopes and stick the envelopes together in exactly the same fashion. Put an image on the front. Note that I'm only putting glue on a little bit of this bit over here. I'm not doing it right the way to the end because this is shorter. So yes, yeah, so you could use just ordinary envelopes and put an image on the front and then put some washi tape or paper strips on the outer edge of the envelope and stick them together, cut off the flaps and then stick them together in the same fashion that I'm going to show you now. Right, so that's the envelope minus flap. And what we do is we turn it to the back. Now, most people, when you add these pockets together is you put the glue on the front here. But because this is shorter on the back side, we need to put the glue on the back so that we know that we're not putting too much glue on this side. 
and basically you draw an upside down T. So you place glue along the edge here and across the bottom here, all the way across the bottom. Right, so we've done an upside down T. And then we sit that on top of that. And make sure that it's all lined up. It'll take just a little while for that glue to just set off. All right, but you can see now all those pockets are all lined up with each other. Now you do need a mechanism to be able to pull this open because if you just keep pulling on the top of the paper eventually it will just rip. And so what I did was um, I punched out two of the circles that were on the, the, the other page that I showed you in the previous video and I inked around the edges. And I want to put the cherry one on the back side. I want the plums or damsons, are they, on the front. Okay. So on this very first envelope, on the inside, I'm just going to place the semicircle, sorry, the circle on the inside of the pocket. Can you see that? So that I've got the semicircle then sitting on the top at the front. And then I'm going to place glue on this other circle. And it needs to be that way around. Yeah, that way around. And I'm just going to sit the two together. So one goes on the back side and one goes on the front side. And so now I've got a little tab to pull to be able to open up all the other pockets. All right. And then when it comes to attaching it to the page, you place glue all over, all over that bit and that bit and all over that bit. If you were doing full pockets, like this you could put a thumb hole in but then you would place glue all over that back edge and that's then you attach that to the page i've got my signature to hand i have let's take that out a minute and that is going to sit on there now, as you can see, because I'm going to try and sit it on there, all of this is getting in the way. And this is where, again, it's nice that it's not all stitched in place yet. Because I can lay it down flat. And I can stick it on. Now, I'm going to suggest that you don't do this. Because we don't want the bulk in the pages for when we're stitching it together but again it's because I'm being a very naughty girl but it's just to show you now the more pockets you have the more likely you are to fill them up with a ton of stuff which means then that this can end up being too bulky in the journal I've gone a touch too far over that way, I think. Yeah, that better. Right, so I haven't put it in the centre. I've just brought it down slightly from the centre. So it means that if you insert something in that way, then the shape becomes balanced on the page. With these cards, they do actually go in that way. But there's no reason why you can't do varying sizes so that you have smaller ones at the front and larger ones as you get further to the back but once that's attached to the page the glue and the space will show on the other side so again this might be another substituting the page for a piece of card 
but there are ways within which you can cover this over but I'm going to come to that when it comes to adding the extra decorations to the pages so it now means that when I I'm going to turn it to that as an angle so it now means that when I pull on that tab they should all just concertina open Can you see that and that's because of us the way that we've stuck them down but as I say, the more you put in these pockets, as you can see, look, the more it's going to protrude away from the face of the page. So it only needs something very simple like these journaling cards that are on the same page as the envelope. So you can still put a fair few of these in, so you've got two for each envelope. That's it. We've finished a signature. Can you believe it? Has it really been 15 days? Wow. Right, next step. I'm going to talk to you about adding some extra decorations to your pages and some considerations about the elements that we've made for this one single signature. All right. And then in a couple of days time, we're going to move on to the second signature. Well, can you add them and Eve it? We're done. Yay! But you can see, look, can't you? Look, look how bulky that is. When you think that we started off with something that was maybe like that, and it's now like that. Right. Thanks, girls and gents. If there's any gents watching, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. I feel like it's an end of an era. See you tomorrow. Bye.